Hello guys, let's make a liquid transition animation in Procreate Dreams today together. Press the plus button and from the templates I select widescreen. In my settings I have FPS 12 and duration 2 seconds. Press draw. I choose a bright color and then fold the panel into flipbook. Now we need to draw a wavy line from edge to edge. This will be the direction of movement. Next, let's choose another bright color. Now we draw marks on our line. This way we control the speed of the wave exit. The closer the marks are to each other, the slower the speed. The further apart they are, respectively, the faster the speed. I do it so that at the beginning and end it is slow, and in the center it is fast. So, close the flipbook. To make the layer visible on all frames, make a long tap on the layer and press full duration and create a new track. Okay, let's check the speed. Choose a new color and draw a line on the first mark. Now I go back to the default mode by pressing the draw mode button again. Hold down the layer and duplicate it. Now move the duplicate to the next mark. To rotate the selected object, tap on it a second time and a rotation marker will appear on the side. Repeat this for all marks. Well, let's watch the preview. To see better, you can turn off the layer with the guide. I like how the speed looks now, so I'll leave everything as it is. But if you don't like the movement, fix it at this stage. I delete all layers with lines, because they were only needed for setting the speed. For this, I select them in the Timeline Edit mode, hold them and choose Delete. So, on a new track, I start drawing the appearance of a wave. The tip should touch our marks, and also gradually the shape should increase in width. At the end, add a few frames of final filling of the sheet. Watch the preview. Looks great. Let's move on. Now we need to fill this wave with color. Just drag the color onto the shape. I won't stop talking about this bug in Procreate Dreams. When filling, there remains a white line that needs to be painted manually. Well, let's speed up this routine process. By the way, a tap with four fingers turns the animation into full screen. What's next? Now let's draw bubbles that will appear on top. I choose a frame when the wave has almost filled the sheet, but not completely. I draw ovals near the guide. On the next frame, increase them. You can also add a few new ones. On the following frames, continue to increase the ovals. Over time, they will begin to merge. Here, we already have such a monotonous white shape appeared. I make more frames for the disappearance of the last areas. This gives a beautiful smooth effect. 